What is up YouTube? I'm back again with another review. So today we're going to be taking a look at the protective treatment for military battle dress uniforms or MBDU or just BDU is how it normally is. Um, <clears throat> this is a video that I've been meaning to do for a little while now. In case you guys haven't noticed, uh, the past week or so, I've been trying to upload twice a week. Um, once for the, like the normal time that I'd upload, and then three days after that I would upload again. That's what I'm going to try and keep on doing. Um, I'm about to start something to where it's going to require a lot of time, probably, me away from YouTube, so can't really guarantee that every video is going to up be uploaded on its proper week. Um, I'm not 100% sure on how much time that this is going to eat up, but it's probably a lot. And it's something that I can't tell you guys about now, but definitely later later I'll be able to. And it's it's for the good, don't worry. It's not anything bad, but um, I just want to keep it a secret, you know. And uh, But yeah, guys, so like I said, it's probably going to require me a, a lot of time away from the channel. Um, but, yeah, so just know that for now until about five months from now, that if my attendance is a little spotty, then that's why. Um, I think I have enough videos to where I can afford to upload twice a week like this. I've been trying to uh, pull more interest into the channel, so I think uploading twice a week is would help. Um, but anyways, guys, so enough with that. Let's get back to this insect thing. So, like I said, this is your insect anthropod repellent protective air or protective treatment for military battle dress uniforms. And you can see you got your national stock number, its ingredients. That says treatment of battle dress uniform provides protection from bites of ticks, chiggers, mosquitoes and human lice. For military use only, outer clothing treatment only. Do not apply to skin. So, um, pretty much just outerwear. Probably wouldn't want to use this on your socks. Definitely wouldn't want to use this on your underwear or boxers. Um, but, uh, outer clothing, pants, jackets, then you should be fine. And then, there's the active ingredients. If the camera will focus I don't know it's hard to get this camera focused in this kind of lighting and down there you got more ingredients and it says produced in package for Department of Defense Defense Supply Center Richmond VA danger keep out of reach of children see directions on the inside so all right let's go ahead and open it up Alright, and here's everything that the kit includes. It's actually a lot more stuff than I thought. Um, so you get two Ziploc bags. One for your... They're both the same size. Um, but one specified for your pants and your top. Even though they're the same size, which is a little interesting. And see the the steps there and then there's that one and then there's 
footsteps on the back, it looks like. So... Alright, so the, the chemicals in here, right here, here's your chemical bag. There's two vials or bottles in there. And it says harmful if swallowed or inhaled. Causes irreversible eye damage. So, definitely don't want to play around with that stuff. And it says it on the bag too. Um, do not store near heat or open flame. And it has your directions on there too. And then you also have two um, cheap little gloves. One time use gloves. They're like the gloves from uh, <clears throat> if you've ever dyed your hair before. They'll usually come with little plastic gloves like this or if you ever worked in like a I don't know like a a burger joint or something like that then they might have those for some stuff and then you also get two ties and then of course your bottles so let's go ahead and open those up now There's your bottles. So, they both contain the same thing. Insect slash arthropod repellent. Both the same amounts too. This weird yellow liquidy looking stuff. It almost makes me wonder if it's not like a gel. I don't know, I've never done one of these things before. Um, but one is for your top, and the other one is for your bottom. Now, something that I wanted to try and do was get a whole bunch of these, and maybe try it with field gear. To see if it would help uh, keep away bugs in the summertime, but... <clears throat> um, I'm filming this right now, pretty much in the dead of winter. It's uh, December... 22nd? No. It's December 20th. So, um, anyways, guys, uh, yeah, I originally had this video planned out for the summertime because that's when I picked up this one at a surplus store. And then I wanted to get a second one to open and then one to keep closed. Um, or just one to try it out. So, uh, Anyways, it took me a long time to, to finally get it done. So, that's my review of the insect slash arthropod repellent protective treatment for military battle dress uniforms. Um, this won't be a how-to video. I'll probably do that separate. But that's just the review of the kit itself. Um, it looks really nice. Um, I don't know if they still make these. I think I would estimate that these things probably came out in the very late 90s and early 2000s. Um, but I, I definitely wouldn't think that they had something like this all the way back in the 80s or even Desert Storm. So that's my estimation on the era. Um, that's just my opinion. So overall that's the kit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and let me know. And as always, have a nice day.